How to set the loading sequence for different cargoes? For example, cargoes are from different warehouses or they have different destinations. So cargoes have the sequence while loading. Let's check it out. Taking cargo A, B, C, D as an example. And they have a sequence while loading from A to D, earliest to the last to load. So we are going to set loading sequence for these cargoes. The loading sequence is a relative value, the larger the value, the earlier the cargoes are loaded, and vice versa. Get the cargo import template and then copy, paste the cargo name, quantity, and dimensions to the template. Then locate the loading sequence column. Since A is the first to load, so it should have the largest loading sequence number. And then B, C. D has the smallest one. So we can set the loading sequence from A to D as 4, 3, 2, and 1. Please pay attention that it doesn't matter what these numbers exactly are, any numbers are okay as long as they can indicate the sequence of one after another, then save the template and import it to the software. Add the container. Then click loading result. Now we can see that 240HC are used. We can see that cargo A, B, C, D are loaded in sequence. but only a few cargoes are loaded in the second container. So now we can adjust cross depth in the loading rules. Cross depth refers to the maximum depth that cargoes cross each other when different kinds of cargoes are placed next to each other. When the value is zero, the cargoes will not cross in the length direction. In actual operation, allowing a moderate cross can improve the loading efficiency and not increase the complexity of loading. Now the cross depth is 100 centimeters. We can increase it to 300 centimeters. And then click loading result again. And now we can see only 140HC is used. 140HC is saved. To learn more about Loadmaster, please watch other video tutorials. Or try by yourself at httploadmaster.biz. A 30-day full-featured free trial is waiting for you.